illicit finance and disinformation are two of the most potent, sharp power tools the Kremlin has used to disrupt the democratic process in the Balkans. State capture vulnerabilities in the region have provided fertile ground for Beijing and other authoritarian powers' influence. Illicit financial flows refer to the movement of money across borders in violation or circumvention of laws and regulations. These flows typically originate from authoritarian and malign actors and are often utilized for nefarious purposes such as bribery, corruption, and improper lobbying. As a critical component of malign activities, IFFs contribute to state and media capture and undermine the rule of law, eroding public confidence in government and democratic processes. Illicit financial flows in the Balkans are complex and take many forms, while global illicit outflows are 3 to 5 percent of world GDP. CSD has estimated that IFFs in the Balkans are around 6 percent of the region's GDP. Illicit financial flows underpin state and media capture oligarchic networks in the Balkans. The Kremlin has used the infrastructure of such networks to weaponize information and economic resources. Hence, decoupling the regional economies from Russia has proven very difficult, even after Kremlin's full-scale invasion of Ukraine. One of the most problematic consequences of media capture is widespread disinformation. Serbia has emerged as a source country of both illicit financial flows and pro-Kremlin disinformation for the Western Balkans. Yet, the experience of Bulgaria has demonstrated that EU membership does not provide a relief if state and media capture practices persist. Pro-Kremlin and disinformation narratives have been simultaneously amplified by official sources, mainstream outlets and pro-Kremlin channels. Government capture and cognitive capture have been the main conduits of pro-Kremlin disinformation in the region. From election campaigns, through the process of Euro-Atlantic integration, to the war in Ukraine, both traditional and social media play a role in manipulating public perception in the Balkans. Rather than relying on direct ownership, the Kremlin's media capture tactics leverage informal instruments of influence, especially oligarchic networks with business ties to Russia. Tackling the nexus of illegal financial flows and media capture in the Balkans calls for continued democratization and rule of law reforms within the framework of an accelerated European Union integration. The political leaders of the region should be called to account for supporting authoritarian influence and corrosive capital inflows. Stemming illicit financial flows requires a whole of government and an international approach. For example, priority must be given to accelerating the rollout of the European Anti-Money Laundering Authority. The agency could help the region decouple faster from corrosive oligarchic networks through improving sanctions enforcement and investment screening. Countering media capture necessitates addressing both the production and impact of this information. Both preventative and deterrence measures are needed, including digital forensics infrastructure, strategic communication units, and information literacy initiatives. Media ownership transparency and rooting out illicit financial flows from the media sector is a necessary first step.